Hello, this is Centennial Hall, room 2215, and this is a quick rundown on how the AV technology works in here. Up here at the teacher station, we have our touch panel, and that's going to control just about everything we need. This is the start page. There's a little button there that says press here to begin. When I press that button, it gives me the choice of projector modes. Left projector only, light, right projector only, both or neither. For this video, we'll go ahead and power up both projectors. So when I press that button, both projectors are going to power on and both screens will come down out of the ceiling. That process takes just over a minute and while that's happening we get a little wait screen on our touch panel so we'll know if things are ready to go when that pops up to our main screen. Uh, while that's happening, let's go ahead and talk about the lighting presets. We have five different presets for the lights, all lights on two lecture modes, one with the whiteboard lights and one without it. There's a theater mode that will dim all the lights and there's also a lights all off button. Those lighting presets can also be accessed over here on the wall. There are five buttons here that correspond with the five presets we just mentioned. And there's also lights on the wall uh, next to each door. This room is also equipped with a wireless microphone. If I pick up the wireless microphone and I just go to the top of it and switch it on, uh, the wireless microphone is going to reinforce my voice throughout the room. Now if the wireless microphone, wherever I place it, if it's too loud or too soft, I can come to the touch panel and now that we're booted up, we can see in the bottom right hand here we have audio control. When I press that button it gives me a few options and on the left hand side over here is our wireless microphone option. I can turn it up, turn it down, or mute it right there. And when I have it to the level I want, I press back to get back to the main screen. When I'm all done with the wireless mic, I want to make sure and flip it off because uh, the battery will drain even if you're not using it, if it's powered on. So make sure and power that off when you're finished. Okay, now we can talk about how to put things onto the screens in front of the room. The first thing we'll notice on our main page here is that there are two tabs at the very top the left projector tab and the right projector tab. The left projector tab is highlighted right now so anything I switch is going to switch on the left projector and the left projector only. If I want to switch what's on the right projector I can just tap that right projector tab and now anything I switch is going to switch on the right projector only. So as you can see PC is selected on the right projector and on the left projector. So if we look at the front of the room, we'll notice that our PC is up on both screens. Now when you come into the room, you're going to want to boot the, uh, well, the PC should be booted up for you. Uh, you'll have to log in. The username will be the first part of your UWL email address. And the password is going to be your UWL net ID. So make sure and use that to log in. The next things that we have on our main page here are our laptops. We have the traditional VGA laptop and a digital laptop, and both of the connections for those are located in the cable cubby right here. There's even a power supply in there, so you can plug right in. You don't have to rely on your battery. I'm going to go ahead and attach my laptop using the VGA connection. So I'll plug that in, and then the audio cable is right along with it. And so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to plug it into the headphone jack on my laptop. And so now my laptop is all ready to go, and I can come over to the touch panel and I'm going to go ahead and hit laptop and that's going to switch my laptop on the left projector. So now on the right projector we have the PC for the classroom and on the left projector we have my laptop. The next item that we have on our list is our Blu-ray. If I hit the Blu-ray button here it's going to give me the different options to control the DVD player. On the left hand side we have our play, stop, rewind and those functions. On the right hand side we have our navigation controls and our menu buttons. There's a little full screen video button there. When I press that it's going to give me a screen so that I can preview what I'm doing. I can click back to go back to the main page. The Blu-ray is located on the right hand side of the teacher station. It's underneath the document camera. You can use the front panel controls too if you wanted. I'm also going to mention that you can use uh, your normal or your regular DVDs or CDs in the Blu-ray player that doesn't have to be a Blu-ray in order to play. Uh, this is a good time to mention the volume. The volume is located on the bottom of the screen here and there's a little wheel or a knob that turns the volume up and down. And right now, Blu-ray is selected and so that's what's going to be heard over the speakers. 
the right projector has the PC on it, but we will not hear the PC because the most recent button press was for the Blu-ray DVD player. So the audio that you're going to hear in the room is whatever has been most recently pressed on the touch panel. The next thing we have is our document camera. The document camera is located on the right hand side here. The power button is on the back of the document camera. It's going to flash green. When that's a solid green, I'll know it's ready to go. My advanced controls are up here by the camera. I can zoom in and out using the zoom wheel. I have manual and autofocus and a couple of other options. And when it's all ready to go, I can come over here and I'm going to hit document camera. Once again, I'm on the left projector, so the left projector is going to switch to the document camera for us. And then anything I do underneath the camera, it's going to show up on the screen. The last source I'll mention here is our auxiliary source. If I press the auxiliary source button, I'm going to get a sub-menu that asks if I want to use S-Video or composite video. And those connections are once again down in our cable cubby here. There's S-Video and there's composite video and they both share the audio. Uh, so you could bring in like your video camera or your iPod or something like that and if you wanted to show that on the big screen, you could connect it using cables. Uh, and choose the right one and you'll be able to use your device to control it and hear it and see it in the classroom. On the left hand side of our touch panel we have our mute and unmute, left projector and right projector mute and unmute. And what that's going to do is when I hit the left projector mute it's going to send a black screen or just mute the video of the projector and it's also going to bring the screen up. So when I press that You'll see the video goes off and the, and the screen goes up. And the reason that this is very handy, the reason it's designed like that, is so now I can use the whiteboard. I still have the PC up on the right uh, screen and I'm writing on the whiteboard. And that way our system is all booted up and you can use the whiteboard. And when I'm ready to go back, I simply hit the unmute button. And that puts the video back onto the screen and it brings the screen back down so that we're back into our normal mode of operation. And of course, the right projector mute and unmute is going to do the same thing just with the right projector. The last button down here is labeled help, and that's an important button. When I press the help button, it brings up the names and phone numbers of a couple of members of the Academic Technology Services staff. And that's the phone number you're going to want to call if something goes wrong in the classroom, or if you need training, or if you have any questions at all. Go ahead and call one of those numbers, and somebody will assist you. I'm going to hit the OK button. It takes me back to the main screen, and in the bottom right, I have a button that says System Off. When I hit the System Off button, it asks me if I'm sure I want to power down. And I'm going to hit Yes, and that's going to power down the projectors, which is important, so we save the life of the projector bulbs, and it's going to bring the screens up for us. Uh, once again, I'm going to remind you, if you ever have any questions or concerns or need anything at all, please give a call to Academic Technology Services, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.